Welcome back, internet people. My name is Ryan. Uh, today we are playing Follow New Vegas for the PC, and the very last, I believe. Or are there a couple more? The it's very last is the uh, the Ultralux there. The very last group of people, I believe. Um, unless the NCR counts as a group. But uh, yes, the last. Uh, we're gonna have a quick look. Wander into the Ultra Lux. Say hello. I bet they're not gonna allow uh, guns in here. Beg your pardon, but could I trouble you to turn over your weapons? Okay. My deepest apologies for the slightest inconvenience. You have my assurance that everything will be returned upon your departure. But we simply can't have anyone waving their weapons around in the hotel. It's not the atmosphere we wish to cultivate. Please, enjoy your stay. Okay. Farewell. This place is kind of weird. Um, is he carrying a... He is. He's carrying a very fancy walking stick. Good on him. So with whom do I speak? With whom do I speak indeed? Oh, this place is quite regal. Hey, any idea how somebody gets into the White Glove Society? Uh, have to know somebody? I have no idea. Chauncey? Hello, Chauncey. Good day. Why is everyone around here dressed up and wearing masks? Those are all members of the White Glove Society. Our founder Marjorie gave us all a dress code. There's only one rule to it. In her words, we must dress in such a way that no one can be said to have dressed better than us. As for the masks, I'm not allowed to tell you. We're sworn to secrecy. Actually, that's not true. That's just what we're supposed to say. I think Marjorie likes them for the mystery they create and the way they make it clear that we're different from everyone else. But you didn't hear that from me. Well, where's your mask? Mm, must have forgotten to put it on. How embarrassing. Farewell. Quite embarrassing. Why, hello. Hello, Mortimer. How may I be of service, sir? Hmm, do you have any work that needs... Or what can you tell me about your organization? My, such a popular question. I suppose it is only natural to see us and wonder what it is that makes us special. The White Glove Society has only just made itself known to the public, of course, but our pedigree was established over generations. Were we always so refined? <laughs> I'd be lying if I said yes. But I've always felt we were destined for a place atop modern society. And now, here we are. Not everyone can wear the finest clothes, and eat the finest foods, obviously. That's just the reality we live in. But surely we can agree that the most tasteful, sophisticated people are the most deserving. And that's what the White Glove Society is all about. Okay. Do you have any work that needs to be done? No, not from the likes of you, I'm afraid. I don't think you'd have the stomach for it. Better look elsewhere. Um, okay. Indeed. Well, Mortimer, we are going to putter around. Where's this Marjorie that my quest log seems to know about? However, I do not. The Gourmand. You look like a Marjorie. Hello, Marjorie. Welcome to the Ultralux. I do hope it exceeds your every expectation. Do you work here? I do, but one can hardly call it work. I think of myself as a caretaker rather than a common laborer. I suppose it is a labor of love if it can be called labor at all. We at the White Glove Society are all responsible for maintaining the beauty and class of the Ultra Lux. And as its founder, I suppose it falls to me to decide how we go about it. Okay, goodbye. Ta-ta! Hmm. 
so I don't understand what does the game want from me am I to ignore the white glove society how may I be of service sir no no there's got to be something to the white glove society Chauncey good day There's got to be something. Found a door to the Ultralux bathhouse. Oh, look at that. A bunch of people actually heard that elite units are on the way bathing. To armies here. For some reason, I was expecting a little something different than a... swimming. run over to the hotel rooms. Any idea how somebody gets into the White Glove Society? The units are on the to way to somebody. support our armies here. Hmm. This is all quite hey. bizarre. I feel like once I leave, the game's gonna assault me with a with a character that interrupts me as I leave. You mustn't ask why we wear our masks. We are forbidden to speak of it. Hello, Heck Gunderson. Beg your pardon, stranger, but I'm looking for someone. You ain't seen a young man with dark brown hair and a white hat on lately, have you? No, I haven't. <sighs> Ain't nobody got one darn piece of news about my boy. Not one lousy speck of information. Ain't got one Brahmin unaccounted for across a dozen ranches. But I'm here for an hour and my own son just up and disappears on me. So, you lost your son? My boy, Ted. He was right here. I didn't leave him but a minute. I told him to stay put while I talked some things over with the White Glove folks. He was never one to stay tied down to a spot, though. Gets that from his mother. Got most of my staff out looking for him now. I'd be out myself, but I keep hoping he'll show up back here. Of course, if he does that, I'll whoop him till his skinny hide turns to leather for putting me through this. But that don't mean I wouldn't be grateful. Well, let me help find your son. I'd be more than happy to have you. Heck, I'll hire anybody with a pair of legs and at least one good eye at this point. There'd be a lot of money in it for you if you can get him back to me safe. And if he ain't, you can bet I'll pay for the names of the sons of bitches responsible. What business did you have here at the hotel? That's between me and the White Glove Society. But let's just say they control the food supply around here, and I got lots of food to give. But that ain't as welcome as you might think. Oh. Why is your bodyguard allowed to have a gun? Made me a special arrangement with the hotel. They want to do business with me, they got to play by my rules. A lot of people out there resent success. Might want to take a swipe at me. This makes them think twice. If I'd have been thinking, though, I'd have had him watching my boy instead. Then none of this would have happened. So, you're a rancher? Yep. Got a whole mess of Brahmins to my name. Bighorners, too. Used to just have the one ranch. But land was easy to grab before the soldiers moved in. Before I knew it, I was running one of the biggest ranching operations east of California. Now, everywhere I go, folks I never even met shake my hand and call me Mr. Gunderson. Don't quite know what to make of that. Hmm. Did you say something about a white glove? That's what they call themselves, the folk that run this place. They're the ones dressed all fancy with their bow ties and shiny dresses. Some of them got masks, too. Real hard to trust folks like that. A couple of them show their faces, and that's who I do my business with. I don't talk to none of the other ones. Hmm. Goodbye. I'll be here. You watch yourself around, Mr. Gunderson. I will. Uh, absolutely. So, now I have something to do. Um... Before I do it, however, we are going to take a quick break. We will see you again next time, Internet people.
Thank you so much for watching.